Spartans! Ready your breakfast and eat hearty. But tonight, we dine in hell! YouTube Parasite Generation back with you today to do another video on a blade from Gerber all right let's get into it generally I don't like Gerber that's just my personal preference I like other knife brands but there is a lot of stuff from Gerber that is okay and great like the Gerber strong arm or prodigy which are fixed blade knives and I can tell you firsthand those are great blades but I've had some personal experience uh, bad experience with Gerber in the past, so it's kind of turned me off to a lot of their products. But it is what it is. Everybody can love or hate a certain brand. It happens with every brand. There could be a bad one. And I understand that. But it is what it is. Now, this right here is of the Gerber Paraframe 1. All right. Let's get into it. It has a 2.9 inch, uh, I was about to say barrel, but 2.9 inch blade stainless steel they don't tell you what kind of stainless steel and that's kind of a issue with me because i like to know what my blade metal is it's not that big a deal but just for me personally i like to know what it is even if it's a crappy stainless steel and i know this is a crappy stainless steel i just like to know what it is i like the design of the blade itself very nice i, I like that clip point going on there uh, it is a frame lock. I like frame locks. It's very strong and secure. I think in some cases better than a liner lock. Has a nice secure pocket clip because I'm a big sucker for a good pocket clip because before I got into knives, I would just buy the crappiest knives on the planet and the pocket clips would come loose and they'd fall out of my pocket and I'd lose them. And that's a big um, pet peeve of mine is when I lose a knife because the pocket clip fails. So... That's good. That's the pivot screw for your blade. So if you have one of these or you get one, do not take that out. Do not remove the pocket clip because if you do, you will um, uh, ruin the integ integrity of your blade. The blade will be wobbly. It'll close on you. So don't do that. Has nice a lot of space inside there to blow lint or dirt or whatever the hell gets in your blade. Has four spacers held together with these screws i suggest when you get it if you buy one you don't have to buy one i'm not telling you to buy one i'm just reviewing this knife in general one of them one of the screws fell out so i suggest take them all out and lock tight them which is what i've done um i only have had this knife for about two weeks two and a half weeks and the screw already fell out on me so it is what it is has two thumb studs on each either side for opening. Now the opening is still stiff. Now I have for the past two weeks just been doing that. And majority of blades that I've had that were stiff and I did that for a while worked themselves out. But this one seems to be still as gritty as the day I bought it. Um, a, a complaint that I do have on the frame lock and I understand that it has to have a lot of tension to go over and hold the blade but I'm telling you man it's very tough to put that frame lock over to close the blade especially one-handed I like knives that are one-handed because I work um, when, I'm, when I'm working I want to I'm holding what I need to cut and I want to get my knife out and open it up one-handed do what I need to do and then I like to close it and put it away one-handed majority of the time. 
but I can't do it with this. I have to use two hands, all right? So that's a big downside for me. It might not be a big deal for you, so that's not a big deal to you. So if that's not a big deal to you, then go for it. Has uh, not very good edge retention. Um, actually, some of the worst I've seen. But it, this is geared towards people that just want to work knife. It's not really geared towards a lot of hardcore knife people. Uh, I'm getting to be a hardcore knife person. But uh, this is geared to people that just need a knife. And want something that works. And this works, trust me. But the edge retention is very bad. Uh, it lasts about half a week with me. Um, a lot of my other blades will last a week, week and a half. Up to two weeks on some of them. Before I have to sharpen it. And uh, yeah, it is what it is. If you know how to sharpen it, it's, it's soft stainless steel. So it's easy to sharpen. And that's good, but it doesn't last very long. Um... It is an okay knife, I have to say. If you want a good EDC to beat up on and not have to worry about if you lose it or break it, it's it's a good knife. It's very sturdy. There's no wobble. It feels nice and secure in the hand. It, you know, you could use it as a latch ditch self defense knife. Not highly recommended because the deployment and the closing is stiff and all that. Um, but all in all, it's a it's a pocket knife. It's a good pocket knife for what it is. But there is a lot of good other options out there for in the price range that are better in my opinion, like this Kershaw Hot Wire, about the same blade length. Um, this one I can open and shut one-handed. Nice, easy, swift deployment. This one actually stays sharper longer than this one. This one lasts about a week. Um, very nice blade. I like. I highly like this, and it's only ten dollars. This was. $14. So this is a knife that you want to consider if you want a knife just to beat up on or to throw in your tackle box. Um, it's a good work knife in my opinion. But for uh, elegance and refinement and all that it is not. So let me know what you think in the comment section below YouTube if you have a Gerber Pair Frame 1 or you think you want one. Um, it's okay for the money. So thanks for watching. Like my granddad used to say, violence is the last resort of the thinking man. Only a fool would refuse to face the facts so when it becomes an option for life. And thank you for everybody for your support. Almost to 3000 subs views are blowing up out of the water. It's awesome. I appreciate all y'all and say hello to my little friend. Yeah, that's my USA Bulldog. Yeah, but y'all keep on trucking. Peace.